Hi guys, welcome to Life It's Online. My name is Sam. I'm Jiajie Sophie. I am Auntie Casey. Let's start our today's service with a word of prayer. God, I lift my hands to you. Speak to me and let me know you more today. Help me to see your hands working in me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Now, let's have our worship team to lead us in a time of praise and worship. That was a great praise and worship session we had. Now it's time for our lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to be learning about Barnabas, which you can find out in Acts 4, verse 36 to 37, and Acts 9, verse 26 to 27. Our key verse before moving on to today's lesson is from Acts 11, verse 24, which says, He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and a great number of people were brought unto the Lord. 
So, who was Barnabas? Do you remember back in the month of March when we learned about Barnabas, the man who was a great encourager to many people? Well, we're going to take a look at him again today because there are so many other qualities to Barnabas that we can all learn from. But before we get to that, let's do a quick recap on Barnabas. Barnabas was a Levite who was sent to Antioch to work with the Gentiles. His name means son of encouragement. One of Barnabas's most prominent quality was that he was a committed encourager. He was also a missionary commissioned by the church in Antioch, sent out to Galatia with the Apostle Paul. But that's not all. Barnabas also had exceptional spiritual qualities. He gave so generously and encouraged others to persevere in their faith. He had and unshakable confidence in God. And these are some of the great qualities demonstrated in the life of Barnabas that we can all learn from today. There are two key points for this week's lesson. The first one is that Barnabas was a generous giver. In Acts 4 verse 37, Barnabas had a land which he had sold the field and gave the money to the apostles. Barnabas helped the apostles financially and this action of a generous giver helped Barnabas to meet the needs of the early church. This action of Barnabas being a generous giver not just indicates his love for God, but also for God's people. The second key point is that Barnabas was a giant in prayer. Remember when Paul was making amends for his persecution of those who believed in Christ? Because of this, many people did not believe that Paul had changed for the better. However, it was Barnabas who had testified to these people of Paul's conversion. Aren't we great to have a friend like Barnabas? In this scenario, Barnabas was a faithful friend who helped to have Paul be accepted by the church. This then allowed Barnabas to encourage Paul and allow him to testify for Paul's conversion, which this eventually led to Paul being one of the most dynamic individuals who had impacted the early church. Now that should be something we are all thankful for. Hi children, today we will do a craft about Barnabas. Barnabas was a faithful friend for Paul. He always helped and supported Paul. So today our craft is about friendship. We have to learn to be thankful for our friends. Hello children, for this week's craft, you need to prepare a card paper. Use an A4 paper to fold it half and glue together. And then you have to prepare an envelope. If you do not have an envelope like me, you can get ready a brown paper A4 size Hold it like an envelope shape and glue it. Next, you will have to prepare colored ink pad, something like this. But if you do not have, it's fine. You can get ready some watercolor paint. Last, you need to get ready color pencil or marker. Let's start doing the craft now. Take a color pencil and write down Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your friendship. And then now, get ready your pain to paint your thumb. Like this. Put your thumbprint here. Okay. Next one. Okay, we will get the blue color. You paint like this. And then put it on this corner. Okay, clean your thumb again. And now, maybe we can have orange, orange color.
put it on here now will be the last one okay let's go for green like this the last one all right you are done with this and then now get ready a pen or marker we are going to draw a smiley face on your thumbprint big eyes big smile another one here and do funny face okay the third one then the last one a big smile a happy face All right, you have done with all the smiley faces. After this one, turn to the other side and write an appreciation note to your friend. Thanks for being there for me you are done with your card take out your envelope and write your friend's name on the envelope like this and you are ready to send this card to your friend get your daddy mommy to help you to get your friend's address I'm sure you can do better than me. Take a picture and send it to us. Good job, kids! We have also included the following discussion questions for you to discuss with your mom and dad for today's lesson. Barnabas' generous giving to the church and his courageous act on Paul's behalf was truly encouraging. Don't we all need a little Barnabas in our life? So today's first discussion question is, are you in need of encouragement or are you in a place to be an encourager? And secondly, who has God placed in your life to whom you can be a Barnabas? We've finished today's lesson. Let's close our eyes, bow our heads and put our hands together to pray. Dear God, wherever I am and despite whoever I might meet in the future, Help me, God, to be an encourager to many people like Barnabas. I pray all these things in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And that's all for this week's Life Kids online lesson, guys. I'll see you guys later. We'll see you soon. See you soon.